You're not exactly growing paprika and potatoes up here, are you? No, no, this is excellent <laughs> ferment here. So tell us about who you are and where we are. I'm Hajnal Kapracar. I'm one of the owners of Erzsébet Pince. We are in Mad in Becsek Dulu. Very nice. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, yeah, we love this vineyard. It's a historical first class and uh, excellent vineyard, excellent ferment. And you can see the reason right behind you. Right here, mm -hmm. the this. stone. So this is like a tasty English muffin breakfast for your ferment vines. This is like a, a second sun for the grapes. They ripen the ferment further when the sun sets and the vineyard is full of them. And when we were taking these stones out, put them in a pile, my father decided that he should arrange it a little bit and he built a huge bowl out of it. He's the vineyard manager, you know, he's out here every day. And my brother makes the wine and my, my husband blends the wine. So you do sales, your husband helps to blend, your brother makes wine, your father manages the vineyard. I mean, that's like all in the family. Yeah, it's truly a family business. One of the first family businesses after the fall of the communist regime in Hungary, after people could do free enterprise again. We started in 89, right at the change. But let's go back to the house. Let me show you. Great, Come let's on, go. let's go. Welcome, Joe, to our home and to our winery. Thanks. Let me introduce you my brother. This is Miklos, he's our winemaker. How are you doing? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you live here, you work here. The whole family's involved in everything that's going on here. Does that give you any particular advantages to what you can do? Yeah, it's great. We have total freedom to do whatever we want to do. And we have no investors, no shareholders. Uh, for example, last year decided to invest into a coffee roasting company and we did. In terms of wine, I can follow the whole process from the beginning till the end. I don't need to make any compromises. I can make my own style, my own wine. So let's taste the result. Yeah, I'm thirsty, let's go. Here we are, we're about to taste the results of your freedom. Yeah, so what do you have for us today? It's an estate four mint from 2011, what we want to show you today. It comes from our two best uh, vineyards, Zafir and Kirai. I tried it yesterday with lasagna, it went perfectly. Awesome, let's give it a try. Wow, you might not know by tasting this wine that it had a few years of aging on it because on the palate, this is so vibrant. It is like a citrus laser beam of acid coming right at you, which is really good with food. I can understand why he said that this could go with lasagna. This could go with just about anything except maybe big, big steak. I mean, you could do chicken, fish, a cream, tomato sauce, it won't matter. That acid will stand up to just about anything and would cut through the fat of any kind of creamy dish. It's really tasty. And how about the second one? The second ferment is our Kirai Dulu 2012. It's our best dry single vineyard wine. And it was blended by my husband, who's a master sommelier and master of wine. And every year he picks our best barrels for this wine. Right, let's give it a whirl. Wow, that is a luxuriant wine. This is the type of ferment that unfolds very slowly on your mouth. It's got all the similar acid and vibrancy of the estate, but uh, it starts to round out in your mouth. It's the type of wine I think you might pour at a steakhouse. You're gonna have some lobster, something that's a bit richer, and this is the type of really kind of high-end white that would sit really well with that at the, at the dinner table. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate uh, you showing me these wines. Can we high five on that? 